everyone welcome back to my channel it's Jess here or should I say Kim Kardashian if you're wondering why I sound a bit nasally I am a bit sick so please excuse my voice throughout this video um, and if I sneeze I will try to cut it out because I don't want you guys to think I have the virus I don't <laughs> I really don't um, so today I thought continue the series I put up a few photos of Kylie and um, Kim Kardashian on my Instagram if you don't follow me you should all the handles are down below by the way I wanted to do a few looks but I wasn't sure so I asked you guys what you wanted to see and you picked this look over here and to be honest I really wanted to do that look she also has a very matte looking base so i think the focus is mainly just on the eyes to be honest and everything else just kind of worked together so we're gonna just quickly start i want to start with the eyes first and like i said she did have a very matte looking kind of do to her so i'm going in with the nars custard um soft matte concealer okay so i'm actually going to be taking the bobby brown stick this is in Warm Almond, and I'm just going to place that on my crease. So like we said, we just want a very light wash of brown, because I feel like this look is mainly a liner look, but she also does have that little tinge of colour. Now with a clean brush, I'm just patting everything in. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I feel like this is literally... My favorite palette <laughs> I always use this like I don't remember the last time I haven't used this even for just the transition shade this time I'm actually gonna go in with this black shade and I'm gonna be popping that as a liner but I'm gonna put it a bit thicker than I usually would now the reason I'm doing this is just because I've noticed in all her video uh, in all the photos of the Met Gala um, the eyeliner is the most dominant thing like that's the only thing that you see the most of so I feel like that is the whole point of this look I'm just doing a very little flick now just remember that it doesn't need to be perfect because we are again going to go in with liner as long as the wing is pretty good then that's all you really need this is really 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 creamy and very pigmented my fave so I'm just going over everything we've done I'm going to be taking the Morphe, I don't even know how she talks, <laughs> I think I'm doing it wrong, taking the black colour again on the back of my brush, Whoop. that fell out of my hand, Whoa. very lightly buffing the edges out. Also, the reason I like putting my, my, I was going to say my finger, my pinky on my face is it gives me a lot of stability, which is something that is so helpful for a look like this. And then you want to go in with the MAC brush or another brush. And this is the brush that we're going to be using to blend the blend that we're doing. You know what I mean? So even though we have been blending out with the black, you want to go in with another brush and make sure that what you're blending onto your liner is getting blended. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure you know what I mean. Now going back in with the gel liner and this time 
I'm putting this in my lash line and my waterline. So I'm just gonna be putting that in there. I love you. Felt I felt like her lashes were so voluminous and just amazing. So I thought these were like these would be perfect for this. This is the Demi Wispy Ardell Lash. I'm gonna curl these lashes because like I said, her ones were so like you could just tell that she's had she had lashes, like really nice ones. So do you see how that just made my eye look so much better? Now I have I did notice that obviously with her eyes she doesn't have as big of an eye socket as me, so that's why you can still see a bit of the like if I was to cover my whole eye socket, the whole thing would have to be black and she did not have that, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is I am gonna blend it out a bit more just so it does look a bit thicker. So we're gonna just do that quickly. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this eye and then we'll come back and we'll do the rest of the face and the brows. Bien. Taking the MAC NC40, just gonna be popping that everywhere. I am gonna use two concealers. I am gonna start with the Tarte Creases Concealer. I'm taking my Anne Hazarati brush and I'm just gonna start by popping that directly under the eye. So this is like the first concealer shade and then we'll go in and brighten. I'm gonna be taking the RCMA palette. This is in VK10. So I'm going to be using a mixture of a few of these shades just to lighten my under eye. Just taking another Anne Hazarati brush and I'm going to just start by packing that on. I'm focusing that more under there rather than directly under my eye because I don't really want that. Ta -da! No, I'm joking. I'm taking my e.l.f. brush and we're gonna just start brushing that back. Nose contour, I am using a smaller brush. So I am just start by patting. I feel like I say this in all my videos. So I pat. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 You always want to start by patting. I feel like it just does the job so much better for your nose. Do you see that? It's like gone. I don't even have a nose anymore. I'm actually going to be taking this yellow shade and this shade as a blush because it doesn't really look like she has much blush on, to be honest. So I'm just going to kind of gently put that in my blush area. You are an OG. You will know that the this Illa Mascua um, powder is my favorite. So I just, I really like to use this. So I just went in with it and I love to use this under the eye. Now. The trick to this is, let me tell you, hold on. You cannot be creasy. Like when I mean creasy, I mean, hold on. Like you can't, like keep your eye open so there is no creases. Look at that. Do you see the difference? Like there is nothing there. Whereas if I was, do you see the difference? Oh my gosh. So you just like press. And then I like to put a little bit like on the bridge of my nose. You need to blend out your edges. So I'm not blending this section where I've actually placed it. I'm only blending out the edges because if you start by blending out everything, you're going to ruin the product and it's going to get very like, I'm taking the brow bar to go by Dried Cosmetics, Whitening, Lightening, I don't know, I think it's the same brand. And I'm just taking my Benefit brush, I love this brush. So I'm just gonna quickly do this other eye, and we'll be back 
for the lips and the under eyes. Back. It's me. Welcome back. It's me, Kim Kardashian West. I'm just gonna put some black liner in my waterline. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Morphe brush, it's really like just flat. Start by blending out that liner a bit, cause it is still a bit wet. So we use this to our advantage. So eyes are pretty much done. Kim has amazing lower lashes. I don't. I thought I'm gonna use some lower lashes. These are the Ardell Double Whiskies. Dior and I'm just gonna very lightly start to um, put that on my lower lashes. <laughs> I thought the best color would be the Strip Down by MAC and then I'm just gonna um, lighten it up in the middle. The Gerard Cosmetics Mudslide um, Brown Lipstick, Lipstick, Lip Liner. And I'm very lightly gonna just Kind of blend those two colors. Get some Tarte Fair Light Concealer. I like using my finger to blend this out. I just feel like it works so much better. So this is the final result, Kim Kardashian at... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So guys, this is the final result. I don't even know what accent I'm doing, hey? <laughs> um, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm like trying to do a Kim Kardashian voice and it's just not working. Especially because my nose is so blocked. <laughs> I literally am finding it hard to breathe. <clears throat> the Kylie Jenner video will be up next week. I'm going to do a celebrity look once a week. I feel like it'll be so fun. And there's so many celebrities that I really, like, I really want to recreate some of their looks. But I'm giving you the option to pick. So make sure to head on my Instagram where I'll do my weekly polls. And you get to choose what look you want to see. I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Whoa! I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And yes, please leave me a comment down below with what you want to see next. And if you like this video. And everything will be listed below. I hope you're well and safe. And until next time, babies. Mwah! Bye!